Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me in my new recollections planner and um, in my previous video when I filmed my first spread in this planner, I did a quick walkthrough to show you guys what is included and I did end up switching up my planner a little bit so I'm going to share that really quickly before we jump into the planning. So originally my planner had um, this really kind of thick cover it looked like this and it's like really um, like inflexible. It's kind of like a cardboard um, type material, but it's just really thick. And also it came with um, additional months from August through December, 2021. I ended up cutting out all of these from the planner. I was actually able to cut through the covers just with my regular scissors. Um, they just went right through, so that was really easy. And um, instead, I replaced it with this old cover from Erin Condren that I had. Um, I think one year I had ordered a different cover for one of my planners, and so I just had this one left over, so I just popped this on there. Um, it fits pretty well, except I think the Recollections has one fewer ring and so there is like one empty like space up here but for the most part it fits just fine and um, yeah so that's really the only changes that I made I just wanted to show you guys my new cover on this planner this flexible cover is just a lot easier to work with um, now moving on to my planning today I'm gonna be memory planning for the week of my birthday which is July 6th through the 12th and unfortunately I don't have a birthday specific kit for this year um, I do have this really pretty one from Chic Chic Designs, but it's just not like birthday specific. Um, my good friend Rachel from Gathered Plans was actually sending me a birthday kit that I really liked, but unfortunately the package got lost in the mail, so I never received it. So I just pulled out this one from my collection, which I thought would work really well for my birthday because it has so many elements that I love, like the florals and the gold foil, the wood background, these adorable little outfits. And the quote box in the center here says, smile, sparkle, shine. On this page, we have the date covers, bottom washi, some foiled washi strips here in the corner. And then the next page has the half boxes, headers, some flags, bow checklists, icons. And then the last one here has more boxes. These are like the third and the quarter boxes. We've got a ton of sidebar stuff, some layering icons, flags, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, this will be the kit that I will be working with. I assume I'm going to be pulling in a lot more gold foil, especially because this is for my birthday. So yeah, as usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi and then I'll continue building the spread from there. I go ahead and place down the two strips of the bottom washi that came with the kit and after a year of having to white out that bottom washi space in the Erin Condren, this is such a relief. It's so nice just to be able to plop them down and not have to worry about any whiting out or any lines peeking through. Then moving to my sidebar, I first used a blank full box. This is from Planner Just For You and she includes these as a little freebie and I just absolutely love them because it makes my life so much easier not having to white out anything. And then I placed down the quote box on top. I decided to pull in this gold foiled July script from Artbox stickers and I placed that on the floral part of the full box which I thought was really really perfect and I really like how that turned out. Um, then I continued to build my sidebar so I first placed down a foiled header then I used a habit tracker with a gold foiled workout sticker from Right Brain Paper Code and then I used a washi strip with the first Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments and then underneath that I used a quarter box and the second Monday through Sunday box to track my dinner. There was a little bit of empty space at the bottom, so I just closed it off with another piece of foiled header. And then for my happy moments, I used a This Week script sticker from uh, Magic Prince Co. And then for my dinners, I pulled in this gold foiled utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I then move on to putting down all the date covers and these ones came with the kit. Um, I pulled in some date dots. I believe these are from Paper Rose Planning and these have a clear background so they just go nicely over the date covers. On Monday, I started by placing down a foiled header at the very top and then I used a full box and I purposely chose this one with a blank space in the middle so that I could place down a gold foiled happy birthday sticker from Chic Blossom Prints. And I also pulled in this girl icon from Fox and Pip and that was one I designed specifically to represent myself. So I just thought that was a nice way to mark my birthday. I also gave the girl a gold foiled bow and that is from Chic Chic Designs. 
Underneath that, I placed down a to-do header with a third box. Um, I pulled in a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I did some reading that day. Um, I'm still working on the book Just Mercy, which is really good, but I'm kind of a slow reader, so it's just taking me a while to get through it. Then underneath that, I used a layering arrow sticker with this noodle emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark what we had for lunch. We made some soba, which is a kind of Japanese noodle that I really like, and um, it was our first time making it at home, so I was really glad it turned out well. And then I did some FaceTiming with my sister and with a friend, so I placed that on a half box. The phone sticker is from Panda Bird Designs, and I just love that. I think it's so pretty. And then um, one of my friends came over and surprised me for my birthday, so I decided to mark that with a flag sticker and that glitter present is from Mandy Dreams. At the end of the night, we just watched some TV. Um, so I used a TV sticker. I think that one's from Brandy's shop. And just to add a little gold foil, I added a bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs. For Tuesday, I first started by placing down a piece of washi. Then over that, I used a Today Script sticker from Chic Blossom Prints. And initially I had placed down a quarter box with a bow, but I decided to switch it out for a different quarter box because I wanted to use this really cute laptop sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. And it already has a bow on it, so um, I just didn't want there to be like too many bows on that box. Then underneath that, I used a hexagon and a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I drove down to a friend's place because we were doing like a little belated um, celebration for my birthday. Um, we chilled at her place for a bit, so I used a half box to mark that. The beer girl sticker is from paper bear co and i just think she's so adorable i love those icons and then underneath that i placed down the full box with the hat which i think is just so pretty I placed down a foiled header and then we also went to the beach because my friend lives really close um, and it was like a beautiful day. So I used this flag sticker from our box stickers with a emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. layered on top. At the bottom, I placed down this box that I decided to turn into a checklist. Um, but before that, I had placed down a gold foiled heart, which I think is from my leftover stash, so I'm not sure which shop that's from, but I just added that for a little extra decoration. And then on the box, I placed down some gold foiled bows from Chic Chic Designs to create a checklist. I wrote in some things that I did when I got home and one of them was FaceTiming a friend. So I used this phone sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that. That was it for Tuesday, so for Wednesday, I first started by placing down a to-do header at the very top. I did get ready and like put on makeup that morning, so I used this makeup sticker from Chasing Chels to mark that. And then I had to go to Target really quick that morning, so I pulled in this money icon from Planning World. That is one I've had for a while, so I don't know if she still sells those icons. Um, but underneath that, I used this quarter box with a bread sticker from Happy Sherpa Papery to mark that I picked up some sandwiches for a little get-together that I was doing with my old co-workers. We had lunch at one of my co-workers house because she has a really nice backyard entertaining area and um, the icon that I pulled in I think it's like a cake with like flowers on top it's so pretty and that is from Paper Shire which used to be toffee bananas when I had purchased those so I'm not sure if that's still in her shop but I just think it's so pretty. I also placed down a foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs on top of it. I then put down a full box at the very bottom and used a flag on top of that with a planner sticker from Hazel Sticker and a film script sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I did some filming that night. And then in the remaining space, I actually had to go back to Target because I had to go pick up something else that I forgot in the morning. And so I marked that using a hexagon and a shopping cart sticker that came with the kit. On Thursday, I started by placing down a full box at the very top. I love those pink wedges. I think they're so cute and I would totally wear those in real life. Um, then underneath that, I used an important header and I cut down one of the flags in the kit so that it could fit this four bow checklist and that's from White Deer Stationery. I used that checklist to mark some places that I went that day. Um, I had quite a few errands to run and I did stop by my PO box. So I pulled in this mail sticker from Magic Prince Co. Underneath that, I used a half box and a gold foiled laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. as well to mark that I finally did my taxes that day. They were due on July 15th this year because of quarantine, it got pushed back. So I finally got them done. And then underneath that, I used a foiled header and a quarter box um, along with this Paper Bear Co. Cleaning Girl to mark that I deep cleaned our bathrooms that day. And then at the very bottom, I just wanted to mark that I worked out late that night. So I used a gold foiled workout sticker from Samantha 
Samantha May Sticks, and that shoe sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. Moving to Friday, I first started by placing down a foiled header at the very top. I did have some coffee that morning, so I wanted to mark that. Um, I used a quarter box and a gold foiled coffee sticker from Hey Soul Sticker. I then had a ton of laundry to do because we were actually headed out of town on Sunday, so I had to wash everything before we left on our trip. The laundry sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, which is one of my all-time favorite shops, but she is not open right now. I don't know if she has a plan to reopen anytime soon, um, but I just love that sticker. I think it's so cute. I then placed down a full box and then used a third box with a grocery icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that we went to the grocery store to get some stuff in preparation of our trip. And then um, I placed down a to-do header with a three bow checklist from the kit to mark some cleaning that we had to get done that day. And to mark that, I used this house icon from Right Brain Paper Co. And I just really love those icon with the dainty bow. At the end of the night, I edited and filmed a plan with me. So to mark that, I used a flag sticker and this really cute camera sticker, which is from Happy Sherpa Papery. For Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom. Um, I then used a foiled header on top of that, so I didn't need to white out that gray header at all, but at the time, I didn't realize that I was going to be covering it up. Um, but anyways, then moving to the top of Saturday, I first placed down a to-do header, and then I found this coffee sticker from Paper Shire, um, and I just thought that was so perfect to mark my morning coffee. I added another bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs to add some gold foil, and then I just wrote Dalgona at the bottom because that's the coffee that I had. I've been making that at home um, since quarantine started and it's been a godsend. Um, then we had to continue deep cleaning for pretty much the rest of the day. I used a hexagon with this candle sticker from Hazel Sticker because I figured candles kind of indicate cleaning and I just thought that would be really perfect. Um, then on the half box that I had placed down, I used a car sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that we picked up our rental car because we were going on a road trip. So we decided to get an SUV rental. So we didn't have to drive our tiny cars and then in the white space underneath I used this TV icon from Magic Prince Co to mark a movie that we watched that night. On that appointment label I used a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I had to pack for our trip the next day and that was it for Saturday. So moving on to Sunday I first placed down a full box at the very top then I used a foiled header and this bow checklist from Chic Blossom Prints to mark some things that we had to do. Um, we just had to finish cleaning, finish packing, etc. And then underneath that I used this super cute road trip sticker from Hello Petite Paper and I just wrote begin on top of it to mark that we began our road trip we were heading up to Montana which is something that we've been doing for a few years now every summer um, so we just decided to keep that tradition going um, then underneath that I used a quarter box with this location sticker I think that's from Simply Laura Paper Shop um, I use that to mark our first stop of the trip um, we were just staying in this tiny town off the 5 freeway um, while we were making our way up to Montana and then on the half box I used a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark what we had for dinner we found the super hole in the wall Indian restaurant and it turned out to be like so amazing so I definitely wanted to mark that and then at the end of the night I used another TV icon from Brandy shop with a gold foiled bow from Chic Chic Designs to mark that we watched America's Got Talent um, at the end of the night in our hotel room before we went to bed so that is pretty much it for my birthday week I'm just going back to my sidebar and filling out my workouts my happy moments and all of my dinners and once I'm done with that as usual I go ahead and show you guys all the stickers that I have left Left and also do a viv wiggle and I just realized I forgot to mention earlier but I wanted to make this video a leftovers giveaway because I have quite a stash built up and I also in addition to leftover stickers I also have some old Erin Condren pages for um, I think August through December 2020 so that's like pretty much starting now I had cut them out of my previous planner because I had bought an 18 month and I didn't need all those months so if you're interested in winning any of those please let me know down below you can just say um, giveaway entry for leftover stickers or like giveaway entry for Erin Condren planner pages or giveaway entry for both um, whatever it is that you're interested in entering just let me know so that I can distinguish when I'm choosing my winners um, just so you guys know since I didn't have a chance to show it on camera the Erin Condren planner pages are not part of a planner there's no 
um, ring, there's no cover. It's literally just pages cut out from the planner that I wasn't going to be using, um, similar to what I did with the recollections at the beginning of this video. So hopefully that makes sense, but yeah, I'll leave more information down below. So definitely check the description box if you're interested in entering. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I really, really love how this ended up turning out for my birthday, even though this wasn't a birthday specific kit. Um, I just really love the artwork and the design of this kit. So it all worked out really nicely. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you guys have any questions or recommendations, um, anything like that. As always, I appreciate your support so, so much. Um, thank you for watching and just being a part of this journey. And with that, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Um, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.